Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again. I'm Jibid and I have a journal to show you, finally, at last. Uh, I'll just quickly show you the size, that's um, an A4 paper, so it's quite big. Um, the cover is my own eco-dyed calico. A thick spine, um, slightly curved spine, and some nice uh, stuff going on there, some silk bits. Um, before I open it up, um, I have a confession um, that I have a very deep, dark love of kitsch, and it's quite shameless. Um, it does extend to plastic grapes in the kitchen, which none of my family understand. Um, but the the first page here, you will see, is very kitsch. I think actually kitsch means um, different things to different people. It's not always the same, but, but for me it's definitely plastic based and um, there's a lot of red going on in my head when I think of kitsch um, and I think this might actually be the coolest thing that I've ever made this um, this pocket I'm absolutely in love with it um, so I've made it of soft flexible fabric which feels uh, plastic which feels really good it kind of almost feels wrong to say lovely and plastic in the same sentence um, but there you go the um, cherry coloured silk is um, thanks to the tailor of Gloucester uh, I've enclosed scrapbook paper into the flap so I've sewn all round um, so that's covered in plastic too got a little label I'm very much into folded edges at the moment. I think they feel really nice and they work really nice. Um, so I've sewn all around here with a folded edge. And just a little tip in case you're wanting to make something like this. Um, I did start out with one extended long piece of fat, um, plastic and folded it in half so that the bottom would be more of a like a more like a bag like pouchy to make it more roomy um, but then I realized um, that if you then um, after so this sorry this paper was was added afterwards it was sewn on um, like on a flat piece if that makes sense opened up opened up the fold and sewn flat what I found though was then if you wanted to put little journaling cards or tea cards, postage stamps, paper clips, little bits, they're going to get lost under the paper and um, fall down, uh, which I didn't want. I wanted a more kind of floaty effect so that things were were just um, like encased there in the plastic. So I decided in the end to sew it there. So if you were making it just two pieces of plastic actually would be um, a better option. Uh, when I was a little girl um, I had a, a handbag which was basically two flat pieces of plastic the same but like it was kind of stiff um, like in a goldfish bowl shape and um, I absolutely loved it. Uh, there was um, like um, very similar to this fish um, pictures all over it so it looked like they were floating in nothing um, so I think that was kind of the inspiration for this I've got the the botanical stickers on there um, and I wanted to leave it empty for now because I really like the feeling that you're kind of drawn in into the book um, to see what's behind there. So I've made that kind of collage interesting page behind it. There's, um, I hope you can see a lovely kitsch toadstool. 
with some extra beads. I've done some little twisty wire work on there. Okay, so let me just get in with my grid lines. You might see my um, washi tape here. I, um, I'm having camera trouble again, surprise, surprise. And um, this particular phone that I've inherited, it, it won't zoom out. So this is as far as I can get from the the table surface. So it's it's a little bit too close because I can't. I know I'm I'm slightly off camera at the bottom. So my apologies. Um, all right. So that's that. On this side, I've got um, some more eco dyed fabric, and I've written some little sketches and notes on there. Um, that quote there is, is not the smell of the forest delicious. It seems to ascend like the smoke of incense. And there's um, Frankie walking about in the background. Don't know if you can hear him. There's some lovely frayed edges that are coming through from the binding. Um, and this collage I've done is a little notebook with numbered pages. That's a vintage playing card with nice design on the back so I've left that open as well and that has a nice clicky magnet to keep it closed and this little bird and um, the curious bird I'm calling him uh, features a few times so you'll, you'll see him pop up I've just done some sketching over this uh, beautiful ledger paper and added some coloured pencils just to tie in some of the colours So there's no story with this uh, journal, there's no um, particular theme. Um, I love the, uh, the colour that these have retained, these sycamore seeds. These actually press surprisingly flat. Um, I was surprised that they, they did go flat. I think I collected these last year and they've kept this beautiful deep pink colour, which goes really nice with the red ledgers. Um, yeah, there's no theme really. Um, I've been making some handmade papers uh, over the last few months and I really just wanted to put a book together that, that featured the papers. Um, I've done this once or twice before with, with different things but um, I don't think before with my, my own handmade papers. Um, little ring, ring binder thingies on acetate. Um, so, you know, that, that was the idea. Uh, this is some of my uh, leaf impression paper, uh, which I have a video of how to do these on my channel. I hope that you can see on this one because it is quite dark. Um, the leaves are kind of trailing up here and then I've got some gold embossing. And the um, the downside of these is that the backs um, I don't always think are that pretty because you get these kind of pockets where the ink uh, pulls up. Um, so most of the time I've covered these up. Some of them um, some are like quite ugly so I've, I've glued stuff over this one's okay um, so I've left this as a writing area and then um, you've got that um, from the same pack again um, sorry my family is home today so you'll have to put up with some background noise I'm sorry I don't know if you can hear that music um, this is just a little pocket that I've built up with some tea cards, some eco dye, handmade papers. This is lovely thick um, cotton paper. Got a resin tag on there with a tiny pressed botanical there.
some of these um where's that card my friend tracy martin sent me um a card a couple of years ago that is um it just sits on my inspiration pile because i think it's so pretty um she's a pressed a, um, a real leaf with gold embossing on there so i wanted to kind of use that idea um i've used the um distress embossing pad because i wanted it not to come out as a really solid print i wanted to just to have those kind of delicate outlines so i've used this technique quite a few times um, over these leaf impression pages just to add a, another little layer of of detail and they've come out really pretty lovely ledger there's some plant samples here on the journaling tags which you can write on the backs of another gold bit this envelope came out super cute this was um, a piece of eco dye that came out really gorgeous colors and it has some fern leaves. I did this originally for um, the Ocean Sun Journal to make it look like seaweeds. So I scanned that eco dye and put it, um, printed it onto tracing paper. I've got a tiny handmade envelope with a teeny tiny wax seal that looks super cute. And some pressed fetch leaves there. These are um, seeds from the elm tree. This was another paper making experiment. I really love this. this um, I've added some very open weave um, fabric to the inside, kind of laminated it, it during the process. And that's come out a really lovely texture. And the other thing that I um, was thinking when I often make books that have a, um, a really strong theme or, or um, a particular story. It's really difficult sometimes and I have so many of these beautiful nature books um, that I like to use but um, it doesn't always work with these story based ones. Sometimes I think I just need a bit more um, like freedom just to um, use the materials that I'm, I'm enjoying at the time. Um, and not worry too much about um, whether it fits in, you know. Um, so it's a little bit more um, kind of free and easy, I guess, this, um, this journal. That's a really beautiful detail. I'm, ho I'm hoping that the camera does pick that up. Um, this kind of a ferny leaf. And um, this effect is gorgeous. It goes like... It's like patterns on, you know, that frost makes on glass sometimes when it's really cold. And you get the um, ice crystals. This is eco dye printed on tracing paper. I think I need to move a bit faster because it's a really big journal. Um, this is whoever buys this journal, you have to hold this up to the window because it looks really awesome. Um, Paper and journaling cards, um, charms, faux rust on these, paper clips, and uh, script printed on here. Well, I've put buttercup petals in onto this handmade paper. This was, I think, this is a mixture of watercolour and cotton paper. There's a gold rose leaf under there. That's an album page from those collector's albums. Um, more handmade paper. This one's laminated and with a colour paper on top and then got the paper pulp inside. Makes a really nice kind of fabric you feel. Um, eco dye paper, tea card. This is a um, vintage playing card that I've put um, handmade paper on the back to make a writing um, surface and um, I like these uh, tags. I've done little 
pendulum shape and nature notes on this gorgeous linen string and a miniature wax seal. It's a hand card stamp. Watercolour swatches. Um, I really wanted to include a few sheets of this cotton paper. Um, it has a really nice feel and a nice colour too. Um, so I, I wanted to see how it reacted to watercolour basically. Um, so I, I did do a watercolour background on this and it looks, uh, it's come out quite good. Um, it takes the colour very well. So I've left a few blank sheets of this one so that you can um, play yourself. Um, so here's our bird again. I've collaged with um, coloured paper, some craft paper for the leaves, some book pages for the little flowers and just kind of sketched over the whole thing. This is a page from my um, digital kit, Matilde Stream. So it has a very kind of a whimsical, um, watercolour feel, of a watercoloured um, the lines for the uh, writing lines. Uh, another lovely leaf impression. Some vintage um, playing cards which are enclosed in tracing paper to give you a writing surface. More Matilde's Dream. And this one, this page was torn uh, quite badly, so what I did was tear it more <laughs> to make um, more of a gap so that you could see this. Um, turquoise from the other side. I've added some gold um, kind of streaky lines to make it look like marble or gemstone. Um, I was really pleased with the beautiful turquoise colour of this dyed paper because it came out um, so I thought well, that kind of went well with that. And then this one where it's come out really kind of frayed at the edges. I've put this against some um, red lines so that you can see through. Um, so this is tracing paper to give you a nice writing area with the background of Edith Holden. I've put a watercolour swatch. And then this is the poem Seasons of Mist and Mellow Fruitfulness. Um, which is really lovely, but I do think he goes on a bit. <laughs> Sorry to say. <laughs> and my apologies to Mr Keats. Um, so I've just covered up the rest. Um, but you have this area where it's folded over from the other side to um, keep writing. I have um, dyed some leaf trim to match these lovely colours from this sketch um, um, sketchbook thingy. Um, these acorns are my own uh, watercolours again. So I've painted onto watercolour paper and fussy cut those out to make it like a telephone index on the edges of the page. But I'm, I am slightly obsessed with telephone index pages. Maybe going back to uh, the kitchen a little bit there. So that's those and then the pages, kind of three little different ones. More crinkle factor on um, painted tracing paper and more um, Herb Robert here. Um, leaf impressions with lovely reds that go with this very well. Um, so this is Matilde again. And that's one of the reverse pages. So you have little leaves, acorns painted on. It's quite a whimsical, sort of gentle um, writing kit. I 
and this beautiful um, beach sprig uh, eco dye um, came out really nice. I love these colours. And this went really well with the colours of um, this from a book as well. That's cool. um, I carved a little book plate. So this is our curious bird friend again. This particular one is on um, handmade paper, which is very fine so that you can see this nice book page behind it, which is also like a botanical theme. Um, so that's that. This goes in there. Whoops. Because the colours go really nice as well, again. So that's the three sheets of the telephone index, the other side of them, um, which I've left them all plain. Uh, a lovely folded edge pocket, just love these folded edges. Um, some sewing lines in different colours. The back of this pocket is has a book page over it, you might be able to see a botanical illustration there. Um, some painted tracing paper and then Edith Holden on the back, which I think I've got on this picture as well, of um, elderberries. And some beach, very nice. Two more of my favourite things. Um, this page was like the back of the page that I wanted to use, but actually the colours went so well that. I left it in the end. Um, another folded edge thing. So I've been doing this sometimes with my tags and I really like this again. It gives them a nice kind of um, frame to them. Again, very delicate embossing with the uh, maple leaf. Rusted tag. This eco day guy came out absolutely gorgeous. Another um, sprig of beech tree. I love that kind of windy pattern that it's made. Um, some little little cluster of beads on there. Um, so I went out to take some. Um, Polaroids so that I could put one in the journal um, and this is not the most amazing photo the others were better but uh, it did remind me really strongly of this quote uh, wild is the music of autumnal winds amongst the faded woods so I thought that was really beautiful and it had that kind of feel to it so um I went with this one. I think the whole page looks quite good. More painted tracing paper. Um, this was watercolour paper. Slightly hesitant because I used so many different things while I was experimenting, but I think this one. Um, and then as you can see, I've added little tiny scraps of um, postage stamps like the old vintage um, in those different colours that you get. So again some very delicate edges. There's a uh, maple leaf and more elm seeds. And there's different plant material in here. Um, that's a book index printed on um, tracing paper. Um, obviously if you're selling you have to find a, um, a copyright free book to do that, to reprint it, um, which is different to using pages out of an actual book. So that was just an FYI. Um, the 
copies um, were kind of added during the paper making process. Um, sprigs of uh, chickwood broom, I think it is. Uh, more embossing and impressions. And then that's that same piece of um, eco dye which I had scanned and I've printed that over. Um, tracing paper. What I was saying about covering up the backs of some of these painted pages, um, I like this one because one of the um, marks, it looks like a moon there on a kind of murky night. I'm really pleased with that page. More little tiny postage stamps. Um, more red and green on my paper. Folded edges, so I've just sewn these down. Um, and they, these tags, these are thick watercolour paper, so they're really nice to write or draw. The little sketches on there would look really cute, wouldn't they, with black pen? Um, and again, another back of the page, um, but the the marks on this one, the little kind of, uh, the light air bubbles uh, as they dry. But this looks sort of whimsical because they were smaller and a bit like that kind of fantasy feel. So I think that looks really good with the toadstools. Um, more red and green. So another a nice watercolour tag on there. Oh, is that watercolour? That, that might be, I think that's cotton rag actually, which is also thick and lovely. And a rusted tag. There, clip. And um, just a little flower holder with um, flower fairies. I've um, just added some handmade papers so that that's a um, something you can write on. And I've done it in two pieces because I didn't like the upside downness when you fold it over. So that looks nice. Um, again a little, this looks gorgeous actually, I love this one. Uh, ring binder thing. So I've used ledger paper, I've used red thread which is very important. And on the um, stickers of stamps and script and a tiny little bit of a Chinese red um, washi tape and a teeny tiny honesty leaf which um, looks really pretty. I love this. Another gold maple leaf. And handmade papers. This one is very delicate. I absolutely love it. It's got little bits of plant material and it's got um, where some of the leaves didn't didn't hold when I was making. But they've still actually left an impression in the paper. I hope you can see that and even um, a bit of a shadow here where it's um, given off some dye. So it kind of makes me think of that Japanese um, custom of uh, repairing the pottery and things with the gold. Um, that you, you just want to use them because they're beautiful. Um, so I, don't, I really didn't want to discard these papers. I think, I think they're really pretty. Um, watercolour paper, that one is definitely. And that one has some little plants and bits in as well. Uh, that's that one. Some handmade paper envelopes. I've got some tags in here. So um, flower sample again. Sewing on there. And these are really nice. This sewing paper is, is really kind of soft and gentle so I think that's a nice housing as well for um, 
sample tags. There's another one. This one, um, handmade paper background, and I've used a very rough um, paper um, so that when you write on there, it kind of doesn't really write very well. So it's like it skips and it makes um, a really nice effect for background. So um, you kind of lose a bit of the continuity of the writing. So it, it makes it kind of fade into the background, which uh, I really like. That is um, bird cherry sample uh, on that card. Um, so the the fabric here is from a pocket that comes later. Uh, some stamping. This eco dye is really beautiful. Um, the lovely firm detail on there. Um, that was rose leaves, I believe. More um, eco dye with script. Um, this one was quite cool how it came out. I was doing some batches on a, like an, a rusted iron grill. Um, you know, an old grill from the kitchen. And the lines I thought actually make very cool writing lines, so I've left that one. Um, this is a, a grass that I've printed um, onto the page with a gold embossing. Um, this is a not from the sketch from from the kit, but it's a sketch of Matilde, and she's holding up. Oh, I'm just going to push up in case the bottom is cropped out. She's holding up a little sample card, teeny tiny, with a real um, flower on there and some tiny tiny washi tape. This one has um, a lovely sprig of silver birch. Oh, it's come out really pretty. Um, all these lovely shadows and kind of pinky rusty tones. And this side has some script on there again, like botanical notes. This one I've fussy cut um, a flower fairy and she's holding, she's the primrose fairy and she's holding some real uh, primrose samples um, and uh, um, honesty which before you saw a silver one which was a, the dried variety and um, you can also pick them when they're green and press them and they stay green. And I thought the colours went perfectly, so that, I've just added that that one honesty there as well. But doesn't that look so pretty? I love that with the real flowers. I've just sketched in a little bit of a shadow and some grass at the bottom just to um, ground her a little bit. And I've added a little um, watercolour swatch again. Lots of eco dyes, as you can see. Um, this is eco dyed fabric, and I've kind of patched uh, three different pieces together. I just love this kind of dark mushroom colour that this eco dye has come out. This is obviously that's the um, the strings around the outside that have um, made that design. So that's a really big pocket, a full size. And um, it's got a nice ceramic 
um, honey coloured bead and a, a bee on the charm there. Let's find my grid lines, okay. Um, so another plastic pocket. Um, and then in this bottom corner, this is also included in one of my kits, um, a little kind of a utilitarian um, style library card with two little um, cards in there. And that's some honesty that I've stamped with script, and a little bit of washi. Um, right then, so that's that. Um, I'm not sure what my next project is, but this is it for now. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Thanks for coming to join me. Um, thanks everyone. See you soon. Bye.